Good day, it's Mark Pesci. It's the 15th of April, 2020, and this is the next 100 seconds. All right, we have mostly flattened the curve. Curves are starting to flatten slowly around all the rest of the world. People have been in various forms of lockdown for going on a month, sometimes even more than a month at this point. Everyone is feeling like it's relentless and everyone wants to know when it will end. And there's going to have to be a process of consensus around this. The governed and the governors, that is the public health officials, the politicians, all the folks who actually can mandate what happens, have to come to an agreement about what the right path is forward. And of course, it's too soon right now. There's still too much infection. There's still too little testing. If we took the brakes off now, we would just accelerate into another massive pandemic. We'd have to lock down again. And everyone is vaguely aware that if we tried to lock down again, it would not work as well as it did this time. People would be less compliant. So we need to think about a path through that skates around the infection. Now we need as much testing as possible for that, but we're also going to need consensus. We're going to need to have people involved in this decision so that we understand every step of the way, the risks that we're taking, why we're taking those risks, and how we can mitigate those risks. At the same time, there's another risk we will all be asked to take, which is to install a tracking app on all of our phones that you will Bluetooth in order to be able to track who you've been in close contact with in case that person shows up with a COVID infection, then they will be able to know to tell you you need to get tested. Now that means that you will be tracked for all of your interactions with all the people you see every day, everywhere. And that may be an infringement of personal liberties, similar to being locked into home for a period of time. And it has to be something that if we use it, we have to be prepared to wind back because we will want our freedom of association back. And that's 100 seconds.